Let's learn about collective nouns. It is a hot summer day. Thud, Balu and Jojo decide to go and meet Hop. They want to have a bath in her pond to cool down. As they reach near a grassy field, they hear a chomp chomp noise. It is a herd of buffaloes eating grass. Jojo laughs and he looks up, sees birds flying in a V shape. It is a flock of geese. As they go further, they find a litter of newborn puppies. There are five of them. Oh, the sights they see! Balu almost steps on a colony of ants. Thud points to the pond in the distance. There is a school of fish swimming in the pond. Thud, Palu and Jojo dive into the cool water. They tell Hop about all the things they saw on their journey. A herd of buffaloes, a flock of geese, the litter of puppies, colony of ants. A school of fishes. Do you notice anything in common about the words herd, flock, litter, colony and school? All these words refer to a group of things. They talk about lots of things taken as one. For example, a herd of buffaloes is a lot of buffaloes that are talked off together as one whole or one group. A flock of geese. It is the same with a litter of puppies and a colony of ants. These words are names of a group or a collection of things taken together and they are called collective nouns. Let us look at some more collective nouns that are names of people, places, animals or things taken as a whole. A crowd of people, a pride of lions, a bunch of grapes, and a bouquet of flowers. Do you know what the collective noun for a group of friends is? A party of friends! And that's what we are! <laughs> <laughs>